Good morning. Today, we're gonna to talk about the difference between painted finishes versus stained finishes. It's a question we get asked a lot trying to decide which is the better option for your home. So first we're gonna to touch on some design aspects of paint versus stain. And then we're gonna to touch on quality level of the two, talk about price, and then we'll go over some pros and cons. So let's get started. So painted cabinetry right now is the most popular type of cabinet purchases. They come in so many more colors than they used to. Now you can get dark blues and light blues and greens, many varieties of gray. So they're really good for hitting different um, styles in your home. So you gotta keep in mind with a painted finish that you need to have a certain quality level of paint. So when you're searching for paints, three things to look out for are, what is the substrate underneath the painted finish? So it's important to start with a good, pure piece of wood. You can't have imperfections. It does mean that you can't get the bottom of the barrel price point on a good quality painted finish. You can't have um, good wood cheap. The next thing is you have to have the right thickness of finish. So this door here has been finished with a primer, two coats of paint, and then a clear over top of it. So certain brands have certain quality levels of finish. We only like to supply cabinets with at least middle of the road quality price point and up because they have a certain quality level and paint thickness. And then the third to look out for, if you have enough in your budget to be able to spend a little bit more on your painted quality, definitely do it. It's gonna be worth it for your years of use. So the fun thing to look at when you're looking at stained cabinetry is the grain. You will see grain through the stain. That's the whole beauty of going with a stained finish is that you can see the grain now. With stained cabinetry, you will see wear and tear over the seasons and use of your kitchen a lot less. So here's the trick. Stained cabinetry has grain. Your eye, our human eyes are always looking for fun things to look at. Um, we can't help it. Our brain wants to be working every minute we're awake. So we're looking for interesting things to catch our eye. With stained cabinetry, there's lots of fun stuff to look at on this door. You don't even realize you're doing it. Whereas when you have a painted door, your eye has nothing exciting to look at other than to search for flaws or imperfections. You know how we were talking earlier about the painted finish needs to have a good substrate, a good surface to start with, a smooth surface to start with. When you're looking at stained, they can use more of the tree. So that inherently starts off by making stained finishes less expensive. Stained finishes can be less expensive because you have a lot more wood species to choose from now. When you look at various cabinet manufacturers, um, some of them have less expensive woods up to more expensive woods. As a generalization, if you look at rustic hickory, this is gonna be a less expensive wood. Part of the reason is maybe there's more hickory trees in the area where the cabinet brand is made. Maybe they can use more of the tree itself because they're using up the knotty pieces and so on. Um, so hickory is oftentimes a less expensive wood in our area of the country. Painted finishes go on promotion frequently. And at that point, if you're hot after getting that painted finish, you can do it if you just pick a painted finish on promotion. So I'm gonna start with the stains this time. So one pro of a stained finish is there's tons of colors available, especially because you can be in different wood species. So you've got hundreds of colors to choose from in various manufacturers, probably thousands and thousands of colors to choose from. So I like the number of choices. I like that stain um, can be a little bit more durable and hold up better, especially if it's gonna see a bit more wear and tear. So colors and durability, and the last thing is, if you're looking to save some money and still get a lot of cabinets for your new kitchen, definitely do a stained finish. Um, just find a color that you like in one of the less expensive wood species. If you do a white painted kitchen, your room could feel twice as big, depending on what you're used to in your space. Second pro, you can look like a magazine. Your kitchen, if you do beautiful white painted cabinetry, you do maybe a white countertop with some gray painting, your kitchen could look like it's right out of a magazine. So that's two pros for painted finishes. Painted finishes show every little potential damage or wear and tear that may occur through normal use of your kitchen. Painted finishes show everything. The last con is gonna be for stained finishes. This con here, if you don't like seeing the wood grain, you can't get away from it when you do a stained finish. You can do a very opaque-ish stained finish, but you're still gonna see a little hint of that grain through there. So if you don't like grain, you can't do it, head towards paint. So really what it's gonna come down to is what you like the look of best and what's gonna look best in your home. 
Thanks for watching. At Kebab, we have a really easy way to get started. Our showroom staff is standing by. Give us a call, we can video chat, and give you basic pricing for your cabinetry in as little as 10 minutes. Do you have a question for Jeff and Allison? Comment below or see even more information at cabav.com. Don't forget to subscribe.